Today I'm taking a look at this 15.6 inch portable monitor from QQH, which is an upgraded version with the kickstand. I'm going to test it with my MacBook Pro and see its power consumption, see if anything has changed, you know, major has changed. Uh, the, the kickstand has been greatly improved pre over the previous gen. We got the user manual, quick start guide. So IPS screen with stereo speakers. This is the foldable kickstand. Has a little recess area here. Yes, it is, it is better because um, the previous gen, the kickstand always gets loose. Uh, I feel like this will work a lot better and a little bit more adjustable because um, yeah, it's no longer a rounded shape. It's like a tri uh, like a triangle. We got a power on off switch, the menu options. I'm gonna zoom in. Let's see what else we got in the in this package. The HDMI full size to mini HDMI cable. So it can be used with Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch. USB Type-C to Type-C cable. This is a data cable, so always keep this thing around uh, if you want to use it with the laptops. It can also be used as a power supply, but not every USB-C to C cable can be used with this monitor, or you have to make sure they're Thunderbolt 3 compatible, for example. USB Type-A to USB-A cable. This is for, uh, for the power supply only, when you use one single USB-C connection to the laptop, you don't have to use this power supply cable. But if you do, then it will not drain the battery from the laptop as much. You will see in just a second. Okay, and a power brick. This is a USB type A. You plug in like this and it can be used to power the monitor, which I'm not gonna do at this moment because you will later see it will be able to uh, run off the laptop directly. Okay, it can also be used with a phone. With the I'll, I'll test it with my iPhone 15, for example. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to plug it in. Well, I hate this kind of zip ties. It takes forever to, to take off. Okay. My MacBook Pro has three USB Type-C ports. It doesn't really matter which one I plug into. All the ports are located on the on the uh, right side. So we get three, uh, two USB Type-C ports, one HDMI input, and a 3.5 headphone jack. Uh, that's for audio output. Okay, it's on. Cool, only, only took a few seconds. Uh, notice the screen is not set up correctly. Therefore, I cannot drag and drop, um, you know, move the screen across. So I'm going to my, uh, the settings. Then go to display settings. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see how the set adjustments were made. I'm gonna drag this thing uh, side by side. So it makes sense in the physical world. Done. Then I can drag this window across here. Note the angle is adjustable. Well, this is so much better. I wish I have the um, previous gen here. Hold on, I'm gonna grab my previous gen here so you can see the improvement. So the previous gen kind of does this after a while, right? And obviously the angle is not really adjustable, especially when it's used in the vertical mode because 
it will just fall off if I want to increase the angle. So it, it's, it's more like a fixed angle like this. Okay, that's the previous gen. So with this one, you will be able to you know, use it in vertical mode a lot better since it can be just like this without falling off. Okay. And can be, um, you know, can decrease the angle as well. Uh, lots of possibilities. So yeah, I like uh, this one a lot because of its stand. Uh, also, I want to point out you can quickly adjust the volume by pressing on the uh, on the plus sign. I'm going to play some tunes and make the audio coming out from the speaker. Okay, now it's from the uh, volume. The the sound is coming from. The two stereo speakers back there. Uh, the volume will not be cannot be adjusted from the laptop. It, it can only be done using this shortcut. But if you press on the minus sign, it brings up the brightness control. I'm going to increase the brightness to max. or bring up the menu option. You can see the standard controls here. And um, the, there's a power on off switch, which also acts as the input selection. We can use the plus and minus to cycle through USB type C one, two, and HDMI. Let me try long press and hold to power off and it's truly disconnected. I noticed the screen flashed a little bit. Now long press to power it back on. Okay, now let me connect the power supply as promised at the beginning of the video. The power consumption is 6.3 watts. 9.2 watts right now. So I'm running it at the maximum brightness. 9.2 watts. If I reduce the brightness, 46%, it's 7.9 watts. Let me change it back to 100%. I think it uh, reset its brightness level when I got disconnected um, from when I powered off. So 100% is 10 watts. 10 watts uh, running 100% brightness. And I'm not sure if the second USB-C port is a full functioning port. So I'm going to connect the data cable like this. It does not work, or it does it. Nope. Looks like it does not work on the second um, port. So, yeah, it does, unless, well, you, I kind of have to connect to the power supply first for the second port to work, but it is a full functioning port. So anyway, if you are not using this cable with the laptop, then um, you have to use the power supply with the HDMI cable. So if you're using it with the Nintendo Switch, for example, you, then you have to supply power to this monitor because the HDMI cable will not be able to carry the power supply. Okay, last test, I would like to try my iPhone. See if this works, my iPhone 15. Looks like it won't not power on. So I'm going to supply power. Oh, actually it worked. Even without plugging in my USB type C input. Let's see that again. I didn't uh, wait I didn't wait long enough for that to happen. Yeah, it's unstable, so I would recommend using the 
Yeah, power cord as well, because it's going to drain a lot of power from the phone, which, as you can see, is, it blinks a little bit. So I think the power supply is, is insufficient. Have to supply power. Yep, that's good. Now you can use it like this, or and it also recharges the phone. Uh, if I'm go going to the YouTube, for example, let's play some uh, interesting video. Um, yeah, everything works well. Well done. Shows airplay. Now I'm going to do this. It will be able to um, play the video in the uh, landscape mode. Creating content, whether it's YouTube videos or even Instagram. Yeah, I think this is cool. You can use it with like that, but your phone screen has to be on the whole time. Right. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful. I think I'm gonna carry this thing with me when I travel, thanks to its kickstand. I really like it.